everybody. It's the Rottweiler Patriots. I'm Vegas. And I'm T-Bone. And we're coming at you with another video today where we're going to discuss the New England Patriots draft. Draft, of course, is tomorrow at the time of recording. Later today, for those of you who are watching at the time of release... And, of course, it's a pretty big one for New England having the number three overall pick and all. But before we discuss the draft, we will do a little bit of an update on free agency since our last video covering Patriots free agency. It's been about a month. Not a ton has happened. We The fireworks all happened in the first week. So, you know, but two major moves for New England. We re-signed wide receiver Kendrick Bourne and safety Kyle Duggar both to extensions, and I am very, very happy with these moves. I think both players were compensated fairly. A lot of people say we overpaid Duggar. I don't think so. I think Kyle Duggar is going to be worth it, especially also with just in general players' values going up as the cap will also continue to increase each year. So I don't have a problem with how much we paid Duggar. He's more than earned it, and I'm really happy that we are keeping him long-term. Like I said before, he is the player who I want us to keep the most. So super happy with that. Of course, also Kendrick Bourne, who very happy with that signing. Hopefully he's able to produce as much as prior to his injury. I feel bad for him there, but even if he's not his old self, he's still a reliable player. And then, of course, we restructured offensive tackle Calvin Anderson's contract, which... You know, that's just a cap thing, whatever. Then we signed tight end Michael Wilcox, or Mitchell Wilcox, excuse me, which that's a depth signing in Jalen Hawkins' safety, also a depth signing. And then departures from the team. Uh, we have Trent Brown was signed by Cincinnati. Uh, goodbye, Trent. Uh, th thank you for your time here, but bye, shoe. And quarterback Miles Bryant was signed by the Houston Texans. A little sad by that. Was hoping we'd pick him back up. But, you know, no hate his way. Happy for the time he spent here. And looking to move forward. And, yeah, so, T-Bone, before we move on to the draft, what are your thoughts on the Patriots' free agency moves? So the thing that's, that speaks to me, first and foremost, is the, um, the continuance of Kyle Duggar on the New England Patriots. Kyle Duggar was... If not number one, the one of the top ranked um, safeties, free agency safeties, coming into this year, and uh, and he absolutely earned it. I mean, God, he's so good at what he does. His play is amazing, and holding that defensive position and holding that defensive piece, holding on to it is is is, I think I don't want to say crucial, but very important for the New England Patriots. Um, other than that, for me, another another thing that speaks out to me is Trent Brown leaving. Because I mean, love of God, Vegas, you've told me the horror stories. I could have I would have had I would have had known nothing about this unless you told me about this. And I mean I don't want to say a cancer to the locker room, but the way you've the way you've talked, Vegas, and the more I've looked into it, he's just not great teamwork wise and and just all that. So as good as he is, he is not worth the trouble he brings. So I think it was good that, you know, you guys didn't resign him and you got Kyle Duggar. So that's kind of my thoughts on this right here. Yeah. And I mean, it's been clear from both sides that uh, he would no longer be with New England. That's been kind of the case for months. So this, this signing comes as no surprise. And I honestly don't know how much of a locker room issue he'll be in Cincinnati. I just know that his relationships in New England did break down. And this year in particular, was not the best for him so you know but yeah pretty uneventful in this regard for new england and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the draft so the new england patriots 2024 draft we have the number three overall pick and there are a lot of things that we could do with this pick. There are several major needs for the team. 
the three big ones being quarterback, offensive tackle, and wide receiver. Now, again, we could choose to draft one a player of these positions, or if an offer is good enough, we could choose to trade back, which a lot of fans are apprehensive to because of how often Bill Belichick traded back, which, you know, I don't have a problem with that at all. I'm not apprehensive to it at all. Bill knew what he was doing. Bill, one of the best drafters of all time, which everyone acts like he can't draft. That is not true. He is a very good drafter. He does not get the love that he deserves at all. He gets far more hate than he should. So, you know, but um, I think trading back is a very viable option, especially if we get two first-round picks this year and a first next year. That'd be great. Like, that's not my minimum. I would want a couple other picks, but some sort of haul like that, like something Minnesota could give us. Minnesota has kind of been the big team that we've heard the rumors from. Others have, I've heard are from the Giants, you know. But again, if we're going to trade back this year, I'd want two first-round picks in this draft. And so should we get two first-round picks in the draft, we'll assume Minnesota 11 and 23. I would probably want to address wide receiver and offensive tackle so I would probably choose the best wide receiver available at 11 and the best offensive tackle available at 23 that's how I would tackle that if we got that and then you know 34 could either be spent we, we could double dip at wide receiver grab like a lad McConkey, or we could you know address some of the defensive needs like cornerback we could get Mike Sainra still or linebacker Peyton Wilson you know, and you can kind of see over on the left, I've got my wants. And if we were in a situation to draft a quarterback at number three, we'll talk about the quarterback. I would want Jaden Daniels or J.J. McCarthy at that third pick. Now, a lot of people want to kill me for saying I want J.J. McCarthy. But I like J.J. McCarthy a lot. I think he has a ton of potential. I liked what I saw in Michigan, and people's big complaint stems from the fact that Michigan was so good that they didn't need to use his talents to win all the time. They were able to run the football first successfully because of how good that team was. But McCarthy was more than good enough to win them football games, and there were times where he needed to and did. So I like what I see from McCarthy. I, if I had my pick, I'd pick Daniels over McCarthy, but if Daniels is taken by Washington and we feel like we need to draft a quarterback, I want J.J. McCarthy. Who I don't want is Drake May. I've made my thoughts on him very clear. He has, for all of the athletic capabilities that he may have, he has far too many issues that scare me more than any potential that he supposedly has. So, Drake May is a no-no. Do not want him. Now, it's also possible that should we trade back with Minnesota, we might want to go for quarterback at 11 or 23. And, you know, that probably means Michael Penix or Bo Nix. I don't think McCarthy falls that far. If he, McCarthy falls to 11, you take McCarthy. But I would be fine with Michael Penix and Bo Nix. Am I overly enthusiastic about them? No. Would I prefer Penix to Nix? Yeah, probably. Now, if we're talking about later round quarterbacks, I would be fine with Michael Pratt. I see potential in him. I'd like him. I would not want Spencer Rattler. I know a lot of guys are on him. Do not want him. Now, if we're talking about, you know, wide receivers in later rounds, let's look at the second round, for instance. I would really want Ladd McConkey if we're thinking wide receiver at 34. You know, and, and 34, it's either going to be offensive tackle, wide receiver, or something like... Wilson or Sainer still. Like a cornerback, linebacker type deal. Probably cornerback. You know, it all, like, what happens at 34 depends a lot on what happens in that first round. And so, like, if we, you know, trade back, pick up wide receiver, offensive tackle, I would want Wilson or Sainer still. But let's say we decide to go with a quarterback at three and then just wait until and the second round and not trade back up. I would want wide receiver Lad McConkey if he is still there. If not, I wouldn't mind Keon Coleman, Ricky or Ricky Pearsall at that position. 
both of those guys should be at 34. If I had my pick, I'd probably pick Pierce Saul, but I honestly think it's pretty close between those two. Uh, who I would not draft at 34. I would not draft Xavier Leggett. I do not like Xavier Leggett. A lot of people are high on him. I am not. I do not want Leggett. I would also not draft wide receiver Xavier Worthy. Worthy is not worth it. Everyone sees his 40 time and goes, oh, fast. But it's like Cam Newton said, you know, you could be fa as fast as you want, but if you can't run routes or do whatever, you don't have a quickness, agility, you're not going to make it. And oftentimes guys who have that kind of 40 speed that Worthy has don't make it in the NFL. I mean, you think about Tyquan Thornton, you know, getting drafted by the Patriots a few years ago. He was drafted for his speed, but he didn't have the route running ability that is needed for an NFL wide receiver and it didn't work out. And I see the same issues in Xavier Worthy that Tyquan Thornton has, so I don't want Worthy. Now, if we're thinking about, you know, a third round wide receiver, name out there, some people might think is Devontez Walker. I've heard that name thrown out a few times. I don't want Walker. I saw plenty of Devontez Walker this year even saw him in person, and, well, when I saw him in person, he was playing against a good defense and was completely shut down, you know. And, like, the corners who shut him down, they're good at college, but, I mean, they're going to be, like, backups in the NFL. So, if he can't, if he's completely sh smothered by those guys, no thank you. Walker, I think, gets a lot more hype than he's actually worth. So I would not want to pick him. I would not mind Roman Milson or Jalen McMillan. I'm generally a fan of those guys. Now, if we're thinking about, you know, later round picks as well, we got we got defensive things we need. You know, we do need corner, edge. Also, probably tight end wouldn't be a bad thing to look at. I think there's actually a few sneaky good tight ends hiding in this draft. And if we decide later on, to draft a tight end, like, I wouldn't mind getting Cade Stover or Ben Sano at all. I like both of those guys, and if either one is available and uh, with a third, fourth, or fifth round pick, absolutely take a shot at one of them. I also, I don't like him as much, but I wouldn't mind Jatavion Sanders either. I think he's got some potential as well, and if we're thinking, like, later round edge, uh, Xavier Thomas and J. Lex Hunt, I like what I've seen from them. Now, Obviously, there's a lot of guys out there. I'm definitely going to be wrong about some of these guys on this board, for sure. I only have so much time, I've only seen so much. But these are the guys who I generally have a good idea about them, and how much I do and don't like them. So you can kind of see here my feelings. One is like, I really, really like that guy a lot. Fine with his. I like him, but, you know, it's not... a not as much, but I would be fine with it. Don't want is do not draft at all costs. Do not draft Drake May at all costs. That is going to be controversial. I know a lot of Patriots fans want May. I know a lot of Patriots fans assume that May has already been chosen by New England, even though the draft hasn't happened yet. I also know a lot of guys like Spencer Rattler is a later round pick. I do not. Same thing with Leggett, same thing with Worthy, so you know. These are what I've seen from these guys. <laughs> Obviously, my knowledge is going to be incomplete or inconclusive for sure, just because, you know, I'm not an NFL scout, nor have I been able to go through a whole bunch of tape on all of these guys. But just from what I've seen from all of them, this is how I generally feel. And so, you know, a big draft for the Patriots and a lot of stuff to take care of, some opportunities, really. Like, if I had my first choice... We draft Marvin Harrison Jr. at third overall. He is my preferred pick. However, I do expect us to either trade back or draft a quarterback. I want Harrison. I don't think it's going to happen. I think he'll fall to Arizona, and they'll probably take him. Which, you know, that'll unlock their offense. Imagine Kyler Murray throwing to Marvin Harrison Jr. That's going to be pretty good. But, you know, that's that's my pick. I have no idea if the Patriots are going to do it. My expectation is no. My expectation is a quarterback. My fear is May. I do not want May. So, you know, those are my overall thoughts on the draft. T-Bone, what are your thoughts when I've had to say here for the Patriots? <clears throat> well, 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 
I would say, um, kind of this is not thoughts on your, I guess, wants, but I would say ultimately there's a lot of wide receivers coming out of this draft that are very solid, very solid. So, um, I mean, I think I, I think you're a little high on J.J. McCarthy and a little low on Penix and Bo Nix, but, I mean, they're on the, fa- the want and fine with, so can't be that bad. I think you're hating on Worthy a little bit too much. So I get it, you know, I, I understand it, but I think a little bit too much hate. Overall, pretty solid. I mean, this is very reasonable and understandable. And I, and I think, you know, it makes, it makes a lot of sense, you know, tweakage here or there, but, but overall good. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, the team's got needs, you know, and I don't know what the Patriots themselves are planning and everyone wants to pretend they do. I've seen so many people like, Oh, the Patriots are doing this. And I know for sure. No, you don't. No, you doubt. No one knows. Let the Patriots do their thing. We'll see what happens. And then, you know, once they've, made their draft picks then we're gonna have to understand but i mean really i think we got to in the first couple of rounds address the offensive issues preferably wide receiver and tackle over quarterback for me i am perfectly fine if we do like wide receiver offensive tackle then focus in third round on like a defensive need or maybe grab a tight end and then like spend a fourth round pick on michael pratt and then start jacoby Brissett, and then see if you can develop pratt or maybe another quarterback you like a little better. I don't know. Not Spencer Rattler. Please don't draft Spencer Rattler. If I was doing a later on prick, Pratt is my guy. So, but I mean, I would definitely then kind of focus a little in the middle and later rounds on finding some depth pieces and maybe some diamonds in the rough for the defense. And then also possibly a project running back. We'll see what happens, but you know later i'm i'm much less familiar with guys who were later on in the draft i'm more familiar with like first two first three round guys how i feel about them so it'll be interesting to see what the patriots do i'm really excited for this draft but i'm also really really worried at the same time but hoping that they make the right decisions for our future t-bone any final thoughts before we wrap this thing up I'm thinking, um, no, no, not really. All righty then. Please be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. We would love to hear what you all have to say. And that is going to do it for us today. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button. Please be sure to subscribe. And we will see you all in the next video.